Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how I do this watercolor alcohol ink design on a tumbler. Um, what isn't shown is I just did a white glitter base and I epoxied until smooth and I will just be showing you how to get that alcohol ink design with the gold leaf. So you're going to need some small paint brushes. Those are just some cheap ones from Walmart. And then I got some Nicole Merritt uh, Gold Leaf Flakes. And then I use these color alcohol inks. Um, they're in between Ranger brand and Pinata. And then I had some 91% alcohol. So I started off pouring each paint, or I'm sorry, each alcohol ink into a little medicine cup. And when I did this, I originally was just doing purple, and then you'll see that I walk away for a second to go grab some blue. So you're just going to fill up all your cups with the colors that you want. Now, this can be done with any colors. I just did purple and blue. You could do pink. You could do black. You could do all kinds of stuff. It's really your preference. Um, I just really like the way that the purple and the blue look with the gold leaf so um before i started getting more colors i just took my paintbrush and i made sure that there is you know some alcohol ink on it not just like too dry and i just started going up with my design so it really depends on how you want this to look um which direction you want it to go. I actually started going the opposite way of which my glitter was going um, because I started doing like a diagonal thing with my glitter, um, but that's fine because I think it looks cool in the end. Uh, again, your preference. So I just dip it in different colors and I just start bringing them together lightly and you just keep doing that until you get a design that you want. Um, the way alcohol ink works is when you... See how it starts to lighten up at that moment? It's because I'm taking another alcohol ink and putting it with the other alcohol ink that is still wet. Alcohol ink typically dries pretty quickly, um, probably within 10 minutes. So I also took a cup and added 91% alcohol to it because that way I can start moving the colors around um, since it literally is alcohol ink. So it's colored alcohol using clear 91% alcohol really helps get that transparent look. So here I am just um, adding more colors to the mix. So I did the two blues that you saw in the beginning. Um, I like doing the different variations of a color because it's it shows different. See how it's dark on one side and then it's kind of light. I like when it's kind of light because then you have the glitter showing through. And that's why I like doing this with a glitter base. You can do this with a white base, but I recommend epoxy and then doing the alcohol ink design. Because the way that the alcohol ink design mixes and starts flowing on epoxy is different than if you just did it on spray paint. So that's definitely my recommendation. This is just me adding blue gently with my paintbrush. Um, I, I literally just didn't even know what I was going to do. I just knew I wanted to do some type of diagonal. And then as I went, I would change it up, make lines thicker, go back in with different colors, and just mix it all together. So I'm going to speed this up just a little, um, enough to where you can still see the design forming, but enough to where this isn't a 45 minute video um so enjoy and um as i go through if i think of anything i will pop back in so thanks
So I know it's kind of hard to see because I keep moving out of frame, but if you take that 91% alcohol ink, you see how it gets lighter and how the colors start flowing. You can get those veiny lines by using the 91% alcohol. So that is, is really a must when you're doing something like this because watercolors are on paper are, you know, they have the veins, they have the lights and the darks and it's, so adding in that 91% alcohol allows you to get those veins that you want to make the watercolor effect as well as mixing the colors together. Um, so as you can see, I have a lot of alcohol ink going on here and some of it's dripping. That's okay. See how I kind of just went with it? It's like, okay, this drip down here. Let me just add some more lines down here. And it's the same thing with um, the design when it starts running into the other colors. So in a sense, if you saw earlier, you would see how the alcohol ink dripped horizontally across the cup. I literally just took a little bit of 91% alcohol and maybe another color and just kind of mixed it in with the colors that it was going over. So you're literally just taking the colors and doing, um, watching this over, it's just crazy because I'm the, my thought process while doing it is different than watching it now. So I really like how these colors come out. Um, I do recommend when you think you're good, don't touch it anymore. You know what I mean? So sometimes you'll look at something as our own worst critics and think, ah, this could be better or I could do this. And then you end up messing it up. So if you get to a point where you're like, ah, you, you know what? I think this is good. Then just leave it. It's fine. It's great. You know, I, um, this design isn't like a huge popular design. I don't do it as often. I just think it looks so cool. It's another option to add to your shop. And I really, really like how you can see the glitter through the alcohol ink. I really think it adds a little something to it. So once I feel I've got my design where I want it, I just took a cotton pad and some 91% um, rubbing alcohol and I just wiped off the white part where I may have gotten alcohol ink where I didn't want it. So that was an easy cleanup. So here it is all finished with the design that I wanted. And the next step is completely optional. I'm gonna be adding gold leaf, but like look how that glitter shines through. Look how cool that is. All right, so there's a couple ways that you can add gold leaf. Um, there's also a couple ways you can get gold leaf. I got it from Nicole Merritt Original, um, but you can get it off of Amazon. Some glitter shops sell it. It's really your preference. Uh, gold leaf is gold leaf is gold leaf, so it's fine. Um, I like the pre-crumbled gold leaf. It's less work to crumble it um, yourself if you get the gold sheets. Um, but I just took a little bit of Mod Podge and started just lining little different spots where I wanted to add the gold leaf. And um, Mod Podge works well, it's fine. Um, I ended up using a glue stick later on in the video. It was just easier for me to start using a, a glue stick. But if you really want an intricate design, I recommend getting Mod Podge and a very tiny um, paintbrush and using that to 
show to apply your gold leaf. So I just tap it on and then once all the glue dries, I kind of rub it, a not hard, very gentle. I rub it a little bit and that way any extras will come off. So at this point, this is when I started using a glue stick because I felt like it would stick a little bit better um, and dry a little bit quicker. Um, and that's just on me being impatient. So it's up to you how you want to apply it. So again, here's what it looks like afterwards um, with the gold leaf. You can also do rose gold leaf. Maybe if you're doing pink, it's really up to you. There are endless possibilities with this design. Um, you could do a light purple glitter base, a light pink glitter base. But after this, you'll just add on a layer or two of epoxy. Add on any vinyl or decals that you want as well. So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.